You're watching America Trends. I'm Mary Burke Godwin, and I have a very special guest with me here, Laura Chez, the executive director and founder of We See You San Diego. We're just talking about the homelessness crisis in San Diego. And uh, Laura, it's every, everything you're saying is so amazing and how you came to this. I love the serendipity of your story of how you kind of came to this home, working with the homelessness right. crisis. Mm -hmm. And then we were talking before the break, I wanna talk more about this concept of addiction that you're seeing yeah. a majority of the people that mm -hmm. you see on a day-to-day -day mm -hmm. basis and you t speak with. Talk to me about how they, how open are they about their addiction? Do you just know it and see it or do they tell you and you were saying, you know, they felt changed. So talk to me about how you even yeah. know that. Yeah, we, well, because part of our, our approach is we host a dinner party, Mary, and I, I wanna reserve you a seat of honor. Um, I'm coming. It's a dinner party with a live band, a gourmet coffee bar. Um, we, we do dessert carts so you feel like you're at Ruth's Chris. We do table service. There's no standing in a line so you feel- Really? Yeah, There's no. no people no, flopping no, on no, a paper No, 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 that's sad. Yeah. That that does not to it's me. Degrading, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So we try we treat people with a, oh we do raffle prizes. <gasps> like we I just make it a party for people uh -huh. so it takes them out of the mindset of homelessness for for a short time, right? Mm -hmm. And then part of our approach is sitting down and eating too. We love the food we make. We make what we would eat. Right. So we sit down with people and they're just caught off guard and it lowers the guard. It mm -hmm. low and and sometimes people come and they just weep. They just cry. And I'm gonna cry right now. <laughs> There's tears forming. I want yeah, you all to know. Right. Where's the tissue box? It's, yeah, so we do that. So we sit down with people and then we get to know them. They may not mm -hmm. talk right away, yeah. but we get to know their names, we get to know their stories, and they get to know ours. Mm -hmm. We're actually friends. So once you become friends with somebody, you can extend them life-changing help. Mm -hmm. And that's what we bank on, is the friendship gives us permission mm -hmm. to offer you a pathway off the street. So every week at our dinner party, our hand is extended. We get on the microphone and we say, tonight, if there's anybody, if you are on fentanyl, if you are on heroin, it's not everybody's story. We know that. There's mm -hmm. no accusation in it. Right. It's, there's no judgment. If you are chained to an addiction and tonight is your night that you want help, we can get you off the streets tonight. And we lead, besides the relationship and outreach, we lead with short-term detox. We've found that one of people's biggest fears, and I don't hear a lot of people talking about how do you get off fentanyl? Mm -hmm. Like what, we hear a lot about fentanyl, but what are the pathways out for right. people? And we believe the best one I've heard of, and that's why we offer it, is short-term detox. A five to 10 day detox, getting you free of the physically addictive mm -hmm. drug, mm -hmm. we pay for that. Wow. We, we, that's our first thing we spend money so on. So you have a facility where people would go? Or are there multiple around San Diego? Oh, there, there are multiple around okay. San Diego, uh -huh. and then we just pay the bill. Wow. And we, but not only that, we're visiting them. We bring care packages. We're calling. They can call us. And we're developing the next step of the plan with them while they're there. So Because that is a key. They can't just go to the five days. No. And then they're cured. No. It's a lifetime, uh, speaking from, <laughs> for someone, I, it's a lifetime change. So you Correct. need to, you know, it's like they did fentanyl every day, so they need to participate in recovery. Every, every day. day. Yeah. And it, an outpatient to us is not enough. So what we work with people is to get in them into a long-term recovery program. That could be six months, nine months, 12 months. And there are phenomenal recovery programs around San Diego and beyond San Diego yep. that we partner with to say, okay, what are your needs? What are you good at? What are you willing to do? What's mm -hmm. your goals? Mm -hmm. Your hopes and dreams still matter. And then we match that person. We do a smart match to a recovery program that would be right for, for them. them. Interesting. And we wow. never leave them. We are visiting. We're doing care packages. We're doing letters. We're doing cards. Wow. And then we help them with um, the next step, sober living. Yeah, I was going to say sober living would be a next place. And then housing last. And then, full, then independent, healthy living, we work with people to get into, you know, after sober living. Right. We believe that's a great process. And this is like a two-year yeah. thing. It's a Because big it's investment. not just a five-day come out the streets. So in San Diego, there's, uh, you know, they're trying to get people off the tents, or, uh, you know, out, out of, of tents yes. and into shelters, but they're not providing the treatment. Right, so I mean, shelters, it's its okay, maybe for a couple days, sure, but we really want a long-term solution. Yeah. Um, I understand wanting to get tents off the street, but I also believe in having to break the cycle of what's underneath. Okay. So if there's still, a lot of times, 
uh, a lot of times people that we work with won't even go to the shelters because they can't do the drugs in the shelter. Right. They want to do the. So if you have an addiction, let's treat that first. Yes. So that's really why we approach that. Yeah. Approach it this way. It's genius. Okay. So many questions. One is. Do you take volunteers? Because I'm volunteering myself and all, all the, the time. Crew we're going to show. And my daughters. <laughs> like, can kids? Oh, so yeah. yes. <laughs> so it it had to be kid friendly because mm. I couldn't do it without my kids. Right. So we actually have junior leaders. We have a junior leadership team. Wow. The, the teenagers run the coffee bar with the with the nine and ten year olds. They serve. They have people they've gotten to know. Their worldviews, their perspectives on homelessness change. They know that it's human beings yep. that are stuck. It's just so such a great gift that you're giving, you know, everyone, really, because it affects everyone. It affects the community mm -hmm. because we people don't want to feel un unsafe in their right. town or their city with a homeless population, but they need to understand that they're not bad people they're right. they're sick mm -hmm. whether yeah. mentally sick addicted sure. it's a sick person that needs mm -hmm. to get well um now do you how is this in a, any other cities or can people like come to you and i believe it will be yeah it will be you know i mean that we're we have a model that could be replicated in other mm -hmm. cities so it, that's one thing that's really exciting that we're working on now and we've had people reach out from phoenix from san francisco from la about the model and how we're doing it yeah because one thing i can tell you is in and out the door when we're sponsoring someone from detox to treatment to sober living it's it's ten thousand dollars for the whole thing that's actually really low as right. far as a cost. I mean, like detox for 10 days for somebody to get off fentanyl is $3,000. Hmm. Okay, and then we work with, that, with um, not, what do you call it, recovery centers that mm -hmm. don't cost a lot. Some are even free. free. Yeah. So anyway, we keep the cost low, so it's mm -hmm. easy to partner with us in that way. I like that you, I wanna go back to how you mm -hmm. kind of mentioned if today's your day, because some people, yeah. it might take them a month, two months, a year of coming and hearing that message and then it's gonna hit on one day yeah. and they're gonna be like, this is my day yeah. to come. And you're just there for them either way. And if it's not your day, that's okay, but we're here for you now. Is it, uh, what, what day of the week Mary. do you do it? Yes, yeah, uh, Tuesday nights. We do Tuesday nights okay. in Pacific Beach, an area of San Diego by uh -huh. the water. Um, I can give you a quick story. Yeah, yeah. Please. So um, there was a young woman, she's beautiful. Like you would see her and you would just never think it would be safe for her to be out on the streets. She would come to the dinners back in, I met her in 2019. She would always be shaking. Mm -hmm. She would always, she'd be like, just looking very homeless, messy. Mm -hmm. um, makeup everywhere one night in 2023 she came to us so we'd known her for years we we're investing in her relationship wise for years she came to us and she said I'm ready now I'm ready it mm. got bad enough mm -hmm. the long story short is we sponsored her she was on fentanyl at this point met her when she was on meth mm -hmm. she um we sponsored her detox we and she went into recovery in the beginning of July today today that's only three months later she has a full-time job she awesome. is thriving she just got a promotion and a raise at her job so cool. and she loves her life she's trans she's being transformed and, and it can happen exciting. for anyone it can we have hope for everyone yeah. we have hope for everybody and we have tools practical tools yes. to help people it's not just we have hope for you no we have hope for you and let's do and step tools. one <laughs> and tools and the tools and, and we'll pay and it, it's interesting that people, because uh, I feel like there's just this, um, there's not a humanity that people, that they're given. No. And it's like they're, um, they're just people. They don't even have, they're not people. They're, you know. A problem. They're, they're a problem. Yeah. They're in my way. Mm -hmm. They're making mm -hmm. me feel unsafe. But actually they are humans. They have a story. Yeah. And there's hope for them and solution, mm -hmm. which is, that's the, that's the, you're bridging that gap. Right. That's beautiful. Exactly. We, we know we, you can't complain. You can't call the system broken or, or, or just be blabbing or whatever mm -hmm. if you don't have an alternative. And I believe we have a really great alternative. So does the city, do you work with the city? I have not been able to work with the city yet. Oh, God. I would love to. That's and they right. donate. 
Please to you do. on the website. Yes. You're amazing. I love what you're doing. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. We see you San Diego.com. I'm going to be there on a Tuesday night. I'm Can't wait. Pull my daughters at a dance and come <laughs> help you. Um, this is really uh, the crew. Mike Cost is coming too. He doesn't know it. Oh, I love it. Uh, this is beautiful. Thank you so much for being here and stick Honor. around for more America Trends right after this quick break. some of the pitfalls that maybe some businesses might run into when they're looking at distribution? Yeah, uh, it, they're constantly underestimating, believe it or not, the ease of it or the um, uh, the importance of it. It's execution, execution, execution is so very important, but if it's not on shelf, it's not for sale. Yeah. Nobody cares about Mary and Robert's juice if it's not on, not on shelf. Right. So, so distribution okay. trusts us and so does retail um, and our team is incredible. Our 